Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to cover session 5 creating and publishing web pages blog of unit 4 web applications and security. And in this session, first topic is blog. So, a blog is a discussion style site. So, this is a type of website only where person who is creating this website is uploading his content as well as others who are watching this content are able to give their feedback and review also. So because of this some kind of discussion is going on between two. So that's why this is called discussion style site and this is used by both non-technical and technical users. So just to create this kind of website and web pages there is no need to learn any programming language like HTML or CSS without learning these programming languages also person can develop blog page. So that's why this can be created by both non-technical as well as technical users and used for creating personal web pages. So here by creating blog pages people are actually sharing their ideas, their thoughts, their reviews. So for this reason generally blog pages are created by people. Now after this blogs are similar to an online personal diary and simple to use. So blog is like an online personal diary only where person is sharing his thoughts or ideas or views on various political or social issues and here this is actually very simple to use because to create a blog website and web page there is no need to learn any programming language and without knowledge of any programming language people is here able to create web pages as well as is able to upload content and is able to edit that content also so that's why this is very easy to use and maintain now after this you can use a blog to convey messages about events announcements news reviews etc so blogs are generally created or developed for this reason only or these purposes only such as for the announcement of events or news or reviews or for discussion of any political or social issue so for these reasons generally blogs are developed or created now just to create and manage blog one web browser is always needed as well as active internet connection so web browser may be google chrome or internet explorer or mozilla firefox or safari or any other web browser that is available in your computer system so that web browser software you can use to create and manage your blog account and for this active internet connection is needed and without internet connection we cannot create and manage our blog account. Now after this we have actually one offline blog editor software also and by using offline blog editor software we are able to create content and this content but actually we are able to publish on our blog page whenever we have active internet connection so offline blog editors these are the software and by using these softwares we are able to create content and this content but we are able to publish on the web page or we are able to upload on the web page whenever we have active internet connection now there are hundreds of websites available and these hundreds of websites are providing facility to create blog pages free of cost and few examples are given here such as wordpress.com blogger.com blog.com wabli.com blogsum.com so these are the few websites and these websites are providing facility to create blog page free of cost now after this here they are considering wordpress that how someone can create his blog account or blog page by using wordpress.com so steps are here and first step is before you start using a blog a blog account is required so if you want to create a blog page or blog website so for that first of all one blog account is needed so for example if you want to send email to someone so for that first of all you have to create one email account in the same manner if you want to use social networking sites such as facebook so for that first of all you have to create your account in facebook and then only you can use facebook social networking site to send message to someone so whenever we want to use email or social networking site so in all cases first of all we have to create our account there in the same manner if we want to create blog page so first of all we have to create one blog account and this blog account we will use always to publish some content on the blog page as well as to maintain content that is available on the blog page so first of all we have to create one account there and for this we need one web browser and active internet connection so we may use any web browser such as google chrome or internet explorer and we need active internet connection also to create one blog account so here first is what that well, we have to first of all open one web browser so we can open any web browser such as google chrome and after that in the next step in the address bar of the google chrome web browser we have to type this url url for form is uniform resource locator so we have to type this url https https for form is hypertext transfer protocol secure colon double slash signup dot wordpress dot com slash signup 
slash so this url we have to type in address bar of web browser we may use any web browser such as google chrome or internet explorer and as we press enter key after typing this url completely we will get sign up page of the wordpress and there we can complete the sign up process means we can create our account there now as we provide all the mandatory information that is asked on the sign up page such as blog address username password email address and language then our one blog account will get created now here what is the use of these all details so during the sign up blog address that we are providing will be the address or we can see url of our blog page and this url or blog address will be used by all other people to access or to see content of our blog page for example if we want to do reservation in indian railway train so for that we have to type url ircctc.co.in and then only we are getting website of ircctc and then we are able to do reservation in the same manner if someone wants to see our blog page so for that that person has to type url of our blog page and that url we have to specify here in the blog address so whatever blog address or url we will mention here or we will decide or finalize here in the blog address field that will be used by other people to access our blog pages to see content of our blog pages now after that next is username so username and password these two are always needed for the authentication purpose or for the authorization purpose as whenever we are accessing our email account for that after sign up we have to go for the sign in process and in the sign in process actually we are opening our account by providing email id as username and password so after creating the blog account next time if we want to upload some content on the blog page so for that we have to open our blog account and for that username and password both are needed so here for this purpose we have to enter username on the sign up page after that we have to enter the password and this password is actually used to keep our blog account secure so no one else will be able to access our blog account and other people will not be able to upload some content on our blog page so that's why password is needed so user and password will be used by person who is creating the blog account again and again to publish the content on the blog page as well as to manage blog account now here they are mentioning one more thing that password that we will specify or enter here that password should be a strong password actually two types of passwords are there one is strong password and second one is weak password so whenever we are giving our mobile number as password or whenever we are using our weaker registration number or our relative name or our own name as the password so these passwords are called weak password because these kind of passwords can be easily guessed by or can be easily tried by someone else and that person can access our account so that's why we should not go for such kind of passwords we should always go for the strong password now there are few points related to the strong password that in strong password there must be at least 10 to 12 characters after that there must be at least one lower case and upper case alphabet thereafter there must be at least one special character like at symbol or hash or exclamation sign and there must be at least one digit so if our password is having all these points then we can say that password is a strong password and such kind of passwords cannot be easily guessed by someone else and in this way our account will always be safe from any kind of unauthorized access so for this we have to provide one strong password now after that next one is what email address so email address here we have to provide one correct email address because after creating blog account one email is sent to our email id and we have to check that email because there we are getting one activation link and after clicking on that activation link only we will be able to publish some content on our blog page so that's why I provide here correct email address because this email address will be used to verify our email account and then only our blog account will get activated and we will be upload something on our blog page now next one is language so here one language we have to decide as per our convenience and thereafter we have to go for the create blog option so when we are going for the sign up process of when we are creating our blog account so these all details we have to provide there so blog address will be the url that will be used by other people to see our blog page username and password will be used by us again and again to access our blog account and then only we will be able to manage our blog pages after that email address will be used 
for the verification purpose this verification will be done only first time and here in the verification one email will be sent to us and we have to click on the activation link and then only our blog account will get activated and we will be able to upload something on the blog page and language we have to select as per our convenience and then click on the create blog option so as we are doing all this then we are creating our blog account and after that next time if we want to publish something so we need only two details that time and those two details are username and password just to access our account now after this next created a blog account you need to submit content that you want others to view so after completing a sign up process next is we have to upload some content on our blog page and this content will be seen by other people so this process is called what posting content so here content that we are uploading on our blog page that is called post so how can we create and publish post on our blog page that is explained now next here so first is to create a post click new post so first of all to create a new post we have to click on new post option that we are getting after sign in so here we will get after that one window that we are getting here in the figure 20 now after that first here we have to mention title so this title will be the heading of our post so here one example they are giving uh, that is school annual function 2012 so heading of the content we can mention in the title after that next in the box we can enter details and thereafter we have in the right hand side insert photo option also so we can click on that insert photo and then we can attach photos those we want to publish on the blog page so here in this way we are making our content ready so first of all we have to enter title and this title is the heading of our post after that if we want to mention some details also of the occasion or event so that we have to enter in the box that we are getting after the title box and if we want to attach some photos or if we want to publish some photos also so we have insert photo option so just click on this and select all the photos those we want to publish on the blog page now after doing all this we have to click on publish post option and as we click on the publish post option our this title description and all the photos will get published on the blog page and others will be able to see this complete content now after happening all this at the end leave a reply option is coming and this leave a reply option is for the viewers so here viewers who are watching our post are able to give their comment and for this email id is required their email id is mandatory so people who are giving their reply or feedback or comment they have to enter their email id they have to enter their name so these two details are mandatory and then only they will be able to give comment or feedback or review on our post so this is a complete method that how can we create one blog account in wordpress.com and thereafter how can we publish our content on the blog page and thereafter how viewers can give their feedback or review or comment on our uploaded content or post so this is all about the session 5 now next session of unit 4 will be explained in the next video so this video i'm going to end here